What's up, guys? Okay, time for our next Nerd Talk review. So, sorry, put this away. Today I have for you another console. And today's console is the 3DO. No, I'm not kissing. But yeah, this is the 3DO. This came out in uh, 1993, I want to say. And um, it was made by the uh, 3DO company. Now, the 3DO company, founded by Trip Hopkins, the guy that runs EA. I don't know if he still is. But um, he found the idea of making a console and like giving the rights to make it to companies like they did with VHS. So, um, there was... I think there was th there were three. There was a Panasonic 3DO. There was the Gold Star, which this one is. Now, for those of you who don't know Gold Star, it's basically LG today. You know, uh, like LG phones, LG refrigerators, LG video game consoles. Yeah, that's what the G stands for in LG Gold Star. And then uh, Sanyo main one, which was only released in Japan. Now, I've seen a picture of uh, I think AT&T was going to make one, but then uh, they didn't, and. Uh, yeah, they didn't because this thing was dying. It died because at launch this thing cost seven hundred dollars. That's a lot of money for a video game console. This, um, but you know, I don't know. At the time, that might have not have been bad. I mean, this was the best console at the time. Way better than the Sega CD, just because it had better video quality. But um, yeah, this is the Gold Star version. Um, I picked this up on eBay for about fifty bucks. That's about what they're going for. I wish I could have gotten it cheaper, but... Yeah, so then uh, you just power it on with this button, and then you press the eject, and the uh, comes out with the game. Just like a regular console. Um, the power cord is... There's no brick, thank God. It just goes into the back. And then you got your uh, yellow, red, and white cables. And then you got S-Video. And then uh, RF. Uh, and then there's an expansion here. Now, there was going to be another console called the 3DO M2, which was going to be like the PlayStation, but they never released it. Now, I think they, I think the gold, uh, the 3DO company made a lot of mistakes. They shouldn't, instead of focusing on another system, they should have been focusing on this. I think this thing could have, I mean, this, it doesn't have as good a graphic as PlayStation, but it's between, like, Sega CD and PlayStation with the graphics. Mostly FMV games on here. Like, plumbers don't wear ties. I don't have that game. Um, yeah, so uh, this is a pretty good console. This is probably one of my favorite consoles. Uh, a lot of people hate this system. But um, it's got a lot of good games, and uh, I have two. This, uh, one of them I've always wanted. This, uh, this one I got yesterday is just a demo disc. 3DO Buffet. It's a smorgasbord for your mind. Uh, it's got demos for Casper, uh, Kingdom of the Far Reaches, Alone in the Dark 2, Wolfenstein 2, no, Wolfenstein 3D, Siberia, Waterworld, and Out of This World. Now, Waterworld never came out, so this is kind of cool. Um, yeah, the only one I, I played the demos, I only liked Wolfenstein 3D, that was kind of fun. But um, the game I've always wanted for um, 3DO is Snow Job. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> What's a Snow Job? Um, Snow Job is a game that came out at the end of 3DO's, uh, thing. This came out, like, right when it was dying. So, no one had a 3DO, no one bought this game. It was made by a company called, uh, Studio 3DO, and it's basically an FMV point-and-click mystery adventure game. Yeah, and then you can, you can look 360 degrees, and, uh, yeah, it's like a murder mystery. Uh, I just beat it with a walkthrough, because it was kind of hard. But, um, yeah, I wrote a review. Um, I'll put the link up here. It's on uh, GameSpot.com. But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good game. Um, now, this thing, probably, I got the last copy on Amazon.com for about 20 bucks. This game is pretty rare. Um, it goes for, there's one on eBay now for $50, and then there's another one for, I think, 70 or 80 I think this game's rarer than Snatcher for the Sega CD. Oh, and I forgot to mention that in the last review. Um... Uh, Snatcher's a good game. I don't have it yet. Someone's supposed to be sending me a copy of it, but I haven't gotten it yet. 
But uh, I think this game's rarer than Snatcher. This, I don't think they made a lot of these, but it's just no one cares. Because it's, um, it's Snow Job. Oh, and then, like, it's, it's got Tracy Scoggins in it. I don't know who that is. But, uh, some B-movie actress. It's on two discs. Yeah. Maybe I'll put some... No, I didn't do gameplay footage for the last, uh, console. Maybe I'll do gameplay footage for this. Um, yeah, and show you some of the games. But, yeah, there's Snow Job. But, uh, if you see Snow Job in a game store or something, pick it up. Because it's a really good game. But you also might want a 3DO to go along with it, because no one has to do this. Um, but yeah, if you got a choice between... Now, a lot, I think a lot of the Sega CD games that came out uh, were reported to 3DO with better quality, like Night Trap and all that stuff. Um, but if you're going to get one of the CD-based consoles, I'd get the 3DO, just be, because it's uh, better. People just hate this system. I think it's amazing. I like it better than the PlayStation. So, um... Oh, and I haven't played Demolition Man yet. I want to play Demolition Man. So, I think that is it for the 3DO. Oh, I just, I realized just a little while ago that I have the, uh, what's it called? It's, it's a handheld, it's a Game Gear. I can't find it, though, so if I find it, I'll do a review of it. But I think next will be the N64. I think that came out before PlayStation, I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. Anyway, so yeah, that is the 3DO. Um, it's pretty good looking. Oh, the controllers. Let me get the controllers.